All right. So I, I'm going to try to be mm -hmm. so professional and uh, alive and entertaining. Um, thank you, everyone who's joining. We have 22 people online now. And, and um, as everybody is going to join this particular session, it's going to be super casual because Bonnie and Philip are longtime friends. And we've been going to talk about our you know, first and foremost accelerator that we're doing. Um, we can do bilingual, we can do Cantonese, we can do English, but for the sake of, we're going to have a lot of really awesome Hong Kong entrepreneurs from all around the world to join us. We're going to do English session from now, from, from for the next at least 30 minutes, unless you request Cantonese. Um, so um, as people joining, I, I, I don't want to, let's, let's give everybody a couple more minutes. Um, and we have over 120 people sign up. So planning of people very interested about the new accelerator that we're launching. Um, but for the next um, hour or so, we're gonna tell you a lot about what this whole series is about. And you know, Bonnie and Philip and myself is gonna share with you um, a whole bunch of information, including what's the accelerator program all about? Uh, why are we doing what we're doing? What are some of the goals? Uh, what are you gonna get out of the program? Um, who are some of the mentors? Who are some of the investors? Um, what are we looking for in terms of companies going to get invited to this program? And then the program timeline. And, and by the way, for the, the, for the folks who are joining, um, and in fact, most of the information are actually on our website. Uh, we encourage to you to read about it and, and the website are all here. Um, so we are maybe we have about 40 people now and let's, let's keep growing. I'll uh, maybe give it another minute. Um, before we start, before we go into like, the official introduction of the program, why don't we do a quick introduction of ourselves? Uh, who are you guys? Why are we doing what we're doing? Uh, why don't we start with Philip? Like, who are you? And oh, come on. I thought you were going to start first. In, uh, <laughs> no worry. I, I can do it first. Um, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Philip. Um, I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. And, you know, more precisely, I'm born and raised in Tokwa Wan. And, <laughs> yeah, near Hong Kong, you know, pretty much from for all my life, my whole kind of um, life in Hong Kong. Um, like probably like many of you as well, you know, I graduated uh, from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, um, got a math degree, and you know afterwards I went to Canada to get my research master. Um, originally, indeed, I planned to to do a PhD and be a math professor. Uh, turns out it, it didn't go that way. Uh, turns out I got my first job in Microsoft uh, Seattle uh, as my first job, and you know I was a software engineer there, uh, starting my life in the U.S. Um, then I moved to the Silicon Valley, worked for Apple for a couple of years. Um, then in Apple, you know, I knew a few great friends and colleagues uh, who I co-founded uh, my current company, uh, Home Court, uh, with them. Um, and indeed, all our co-founders are from Hong Kong. You might have heard of uh, the company Home Court. We have uh, half of the team in Hong Kong, um, half of the team in the U.S. I mean, the U.S. Uh, California. And we are around like 30 people now, uh, raised a few round of funding. Um, and gratefully, you know, like, uh, you know, got Edip's invite to, to, to start this uh, Founders Hong Kong initiative, which is one thing I, I feel really meaningful. Um, Cause I, I, I still, you know, feel like Hong Kong is my home. We really love Hong Kong. Um, and, you know, we started this uh, Founders Hong Kong uh, early 2020. Um, and the story go from there. So I'll, I'll let Edith and, and Bonnie to, to introduce themselves to you. Cool. Well, obviously, we're amongst friends. Um, my name's Bonnie, and clearly, I am a Gong <laughs> Lui, <laughs> but not a Tou Gua Wan Gong Lui. So I grew up um, in Happy Valley, and I went to school there, very typical um, local school. If you guys have been around this beautiful building, uh, Marymount uh, Secondary and Primary. And then like many of us in Hong Kong, right, um, our typical lifestyle is we get bounced around a lot. So by around 15, my parents had enough of me. So I got sent off to school in the U.S., um, spent the next 15 years in, in the U.S., going to school, um, starting to work in uh, IT consulting. So I went from um, working mostly in uh, IBM, AT&T, HP, 
all kinds of, you know, telecom projects. That's my focus area. And then about 10 years ago, I had an opportunity to actually come back to Hong Kong to work. So I'm um, actually returned to Hong Kong half time. Um, I guess this is the, the, the life story of all of us. Uh, so many of my friends, I'm sure amongst you, I, I know quite a few as well. It's um, our life is spent probably a quarter on the plane and then half the time in Hong Kong and half the time somewhere else. But I think the most important thing why we're all here today is at the bottom of my heart, we still feel so strongly about our Hong Kong ethos. So um, that's why we're here. And also thank you all of you who already applied because you're making my life super busy at the moment already. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Um, so Phil and Bonnie and I know each other for a long time and a really quick introduction. Um, my background, born and raised in Wan Chai. Um, my parents still live in Wan Chai. Oh, I Wan Chai and and um, uh, yeah, I came here into the U.S. when I was 16 years old, and uh, high school and whatnot. But deep down, uh, I went to a, a BPS, very lossy, and basically all girl geeks um, love up the wazoo. But long story short, like my my background in engineers. 10 years enterprise software, Cebo Oracle, all of that. Bonnie and I, I met with, because we work on AT&T together. We've just been a long time friend um, and built this whole thing together. And now mostly spend our time in Silicon Valley. So so anyway, like um, I, I, I don't want to, I really like this whole session is about telling, sharing why we're doing what we're doing, what the program is about, who's going to be involved, what are we looking for? And more importantly, how can we help? Um, so I'm gonna basically spend a couple of minutes just to share with you. And by the way, all the information is available of founderhk.com slash accelerator. So you can read all this, but I, we just wanna like recap on the key things. So for some of you already know, like, so Phil, Philip spent a lot of time with Apple, Microsoft, um, awesome companies. And then Bonnie and I actually um, built up basically the Hong Kong practice, Greater China practice for 500 startups. So this program has a lot to do with our background and experience coming from Silicon Valley and 500 startup. But because we're Hong Kong -er and we love you guys. And the whole point of this is basically um, a little bit drawing from some of the experience in Silicon Valley, we meet a lot of Israelis and they're really awesome people and known for security. We just always feel like we meet these awesome people and they make us feel whoever they, wherever they are from, they have your back. And Israel have that. And why, why we couldn't have that for Hong Kong people, wherever you go. So in this sense is it doesn't really matter where you, well, some connection with Hong Kong, but as long as you're from Hong Kong, you could be, um, living in Hong Kong now, or you could be a Hong Kong or living every, everywhere else, we want to help and we want to have your back. So what the program is really all about is, is a free eight weeks program. We're not 500 startup, we're not uh, Y Combinator, it's equity free. And by the way, like um, this is our pilot program. So please bear with us. Uh, we are also testing and learning we don't have all the answers, but we gather a really kick-ass group of people, which Bonnie and Philip is going to share with you who are involved uh, later on. But it's an eight weeks program, all virtual, because uh, three of us are all in Silicon Valley. We can't wait to come back to Hong Kong. Uh, unfortunately, three weeks quarantine is not good use of anybody's time. So we're still here, uh, but it's an eight weeks program with the whole it's all online and our idea is that we're going to have weekly workshop only dedicated with the Hong Kong founders um, with a very, very clear goal. We want to speed up your growth. We want to help you to fundraise. We want to basically connect you no matter where you are with kick ass Hong Kong mentors. And we found thanks to Philip, if it's not because of Philip, I have never, I don't even know there's so many Hong Kong kick ass people in Google, Apple, Facebook, LinkedIn, like everybody are here to help and support Hong Kong founders. Um, so our whole point is basically to make it a little bit more formal. We wanted to support you. Uh, we want to help you with access. We want you to bring your, your best game. Doesn't matter you where you are, uh, but more importantly, 
the most important thing, at least when Bonnie and I at 500, is we take the pride for the fact that we have amazing network. And the network, key, key, key metrics for, for all of us, just like we will hold a KPI for all the founders and, and startups is what's your KPI? So the KPI for a accelerator is all about how, how many access we get provide, especially around fundraising and especially around connections. Um, so we, we are picking and selecting companies and be very, very like critique about the, the type of um, mentors um, and, and then also investor that we invite. So um, bear with us is not perfect. The, the key thing is really about we want to have your back and, and our, we want to have this only not for the first time, but second and third time and many, many times, but this is the first batch. So our key thing is we want to make sure that you get the most out of the program. Um, I'm going to have Bonnie to tell you a little bit more about what to expect and what are you going to get out of the program. Okay, awesome. your turn. Hey guys, well, with the program, right? The easiest thing we can explain to you is after everybody we've seen at 500 and trust us, it was a painful like time every time we run a batch because we'll go through about two to two to three thousand applications every quarter of the year. So everyone we've seen, right? So far, the conclusion is very clear. We know fundraising is not fun and nobody likes to fundraise. You, I know you guys much rather to focus heads down, um, build your company, but that's why we're here. And for these eight weeks, right, we stress a lot, um, as Edith already mentioned, our KPI for ourselves is we wanted to make your fundraising path super smooth, super easy. And how do we do it? is by focusing on the eight weeks of, you know, running you through a really laborious, you know, sessions of workshops, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, and each company to do that, right? Each one of you who was admitted will have a point of contact person. That person can be myself, can be Philip, can be Edith, can be another, per another person we trust a lot in terms of experience in running um, accelerators. And what we're going to do is, handhold you every week of those eight weeks to make sure you are getting to the right people, the right network. Um, and that's why, you know, our mental network is so important. It's not only about these workshops because we do understand sometimes workshops can be a one, one way street, right? You're listening, but you don't really get a chance to discuss and, and question and, and uh, figure things out um, in a more um, private and intimate setting. So that's why we would have the POC there for you. And in terms of fundraising, um, we've already lined up a set of really, really top tier um, VCs around the globe for the demo day. So it is actually also our job to make sure you guys are all super ready, right? Um, I know some of you have asked, um, what stage are we looking at? We need companies have at the minimal a product out there. Um, you must have users, but users can be paid or non-paid. So that's okay. Um, you can be B2C, B2B. B2 B. What we stress is because the week eight weeks are hands-on, we can't really work with just an idea. We need to be able to have a tangible product, a tangible platform where as you go through the eight weeks, you actually get a chance to try things, A, B, test, tweak, look at results and tweak again to get to the end of the eight weeks where you'll be super ready for your investors. Um, so that's why we want to focus. And one thing I would correct from Edith is it is free only in a sense of monetary wise, it's free. It's definitely <laughs> not free of your time. If we don't see you for some of the setup mentoring sessions and you just disappear on us, I'm sorry, you're going to be out very quickly. So it's definitely not free in that sense. Don't think it's something that, oh, I feel like I don't have anything to do this afternoon. I'm going to click into that one session. Oh, but then I'm, I'm going to be busy playing basketball tomorrow. I'm not going to show up. Sorry, that's not going to work for us. <laughs> no home court user. Sorry. <laughs> yes. After, Turn off your home program. court. <laughs> after the after the program. <laughs> yeah. So so with that said, thank you, Bonnie. Reminded like yes, we love you, but at the same time, 
we want to take you like you want us to take you seriously therefore you need to take this whole program seriously um philip maybe you can tell us a little bit about who are involved in terms of the mentor side of things yeah so um so as, as we already described a little bit a, a while ago, like um, all the mentors or speakers that we will invite are, you know, like uh, Silicon Valley executive um, expertise in growth, marketing, um, product, you know, basically all sort of expat that a startup would need. Um, so, you know, you can see some of them on our mentorship website as well. But uh, we will indeed uh, invite some other, you know, Hong Kong or even non-Hong Kong mentors um, who's willing to, you know, share the expertise um, in our, our SRIPA program uh, because we do want to create even more uh, connections for you guys uh, and you know just wanted to promote our mentorship program a little bit as well uh, in fact if you join our uh, founders hong kong uh, member as a member you you can already access to all these amazing uh, mentors and you know like if you're already a member please uh, find some time to talk to them you know like we, we got very great feedback uh, from those who talk to our mentors and, you know, like they, they basically, uh, you know, I, I have to say it's, it's, it's not as easy, you know, to, 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 to connect with people in Silicon Valley. Um, but um, fortunately, we have, we have this uh, um, kind of this setup for you guys. Uh, and then, you know, like, I think we, we also want it to be a little bit more uh, customized as well. Um, depending on um, the group of companies that we got, uh, we do want to find the mentors or the workshop speaker that's best fit for you. So um, right now we, we have a list of people that we know they would be happy to help. Um, but the final list uh, would, would take us a little bit to confirm because we wanted to customize it for you. Yeah, uh, and then on the investor side, we have plenty of awesome investors. Yeah, so fill it. <laughs> yeah you want me to? No, I, yeah. I think like, yeah. As, Edith already describes KX, KS <laughs> investors. Um, but I, I do want to say, you know, like, um, this is want to speak in, 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 in the founder's perspective. Uh, I think I can't really, I can't emphasize more on, you know, how important it is to, to get the right investor uh, who can help you uh, with a lot more than just money. Um, in, indeed, from my experience, like we, we've been raising for a few rounds and, and our cap table is not that clean. We actually get tons of investors. Uh, but but very grateful that you know like uh, a lot of time you know I can even say like money is is almost one of the very minor thing you know <laughs> out of out of like what investor can help um, and you know I, we we also understand you know like um, the investor or the investment network in Hong Kong may not be as well established you know as in Silicon Valley um, but but firsthand as a founder you know I I experienced through you know how how important it is to, to, to get the right investor that they can, they, they have to know how they have, you know, the, the different market uh, exposure or connection um, that can really take your company a lot further than just the money that they can give you. Um, so, you know, we, we, we list out, you know, a few uh, investor on, on our website, um, like some of the names that you probably recognize as Acquire, uh, Matrix Partners, 500 Startup, and there will be more um, very, very helpful angel investor. Uh, more we see that that will be on board in the demo day. Um, and we'll share that with you later as well. Awesome. Um, uh, Bonnie, in, in terms of timeline, and I, we realize that there's some like things we need to update as well on the timeline part. Um, actually, for the timeline, it's quite straightforward, right? As you all know, well, hopefully you all know, um, application period has started. So, um, We've been receiving um, applications already, and it is on a rolling basis. So um, we, what it means is we have already started uh, preliminary rounds of interviews. Um, applications going to deadline will be July twelfth. So make sure, make sure that's the absolute latest you can you can submit your application. But I highly recommend that you send it in as soon as possible because since it's on rolling basis, I well obviously we try not to be biased, but. Clearly, um, the earlier we see the companies, the more we discuss, um, it gives us also more time to understand and learn about you and also give you um, time to provide additional information. I'll give you an example is some of the companies I've interviewed um, because they applied early, they now they would have the time to say, well, I need more um, daily active user, monthly active user usage information. They can still submit it in two weeks or, or, or so 
to as a supplement, right? But if you do at the deadline, it will be very difficult. Um, so July 12th is the deadline. We will um, target to announce the final batch of companies being accepted the following week, July 19th. And the program will start um, around the third week of, or third or fourth week of July. It will last for eight weeks, which means, um, as I mentioned earlier, right? You gotta be sure you are giving your time during those two months, um, end of July to end of, end of um, September. If not, um, very quickly, bye-bye, you'll be gone. Um, anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting voted off the island, right? If you don't show up, um, you're not gonna be a part of the program. And trust us, it, this is not a threat. Uh, at 500, we do the same thing. <laughs> if companies do not show up, sorry, bye-bye, you, you, you're gone. Um, because it is also a waste of our mentors' time. Uh, as I don't know how many of you have gone through the mentors list. Uh, Philip actually did an amazing work by pulling together the people. And it is also amazing that if you ever have raised before or, or have tried to, to build a startup here in the US or even in Hong Kong, trying to knock on the doors of some of these people are really tough. Um, just to get you know them to reply to your email is hard enough. You gotta make sure you have a warm introduction. You gotta have a right angle. But now these mentors are actually telling you, as long as you sign up and provide specific questions, they will give you one-on-one -on -one time. Um, I think that's incredibly amazing. And if you don't use it, right, um, you really not being a good hustler uh, or a startup founder. And that's why everyone I've spoken to so far, I also advise you, right, as you go through the application process, don't wait. You can actually go ahead, go on the mentor site, um, look at the, the mentor's background, figure out who can be helpful to you and go ahead and request um, a meeting with them because time is of the essence, right? You gotta be make sure you're using all your time as quickly as possible to gather as much knowledge as you can to get ready because two months actually will go by really fast. And we wanna absolutely make sure every one of you will be ready um, at the end of September to stand in front really, I would call them the industry titans, right? These are the, the amazing tier one VCs to have a chance to, to, uh, to um, introduce your company to them. It's incredible. So um, that's the timeline in short, uh, handing it back to Eden. Right, I am answering your question live as we speak. <laughs> um, actually, uh, what I wanna do now is we have we only been going on and on for like about 20 minutes. And mm. if you guys don't mind, uh, what I would like to do, we are very, by the way, this is a nonprofit and we want to be super transparent about what we do. And I, I, I actually want to um, quickly share screen. Um, just give me, bear with me one second. Do you guys see the, the, the application form? Yeah. Yeah, so, so what I want to do is actually talk quickly about some of the, the, the reason of what we're asking. This is not a trick question. This is actually about helping you, regardless if you end up getting accepted or not, which Philip, Bonnie, and I have very, very different backgrounds. So like when we look for a company, we have very specific things that we look for. But when we ask this question, this is not a trick question. This is not like a like a like an O level or A level exam. Like this is no right answer. Uh, but but the really really key thing I want to quickly go over this is uh, first off, uh, what is your name? Okay, you don't have to be fancy. Whatever is real is real. Um, where are you located? I saw some question about do you have to be a Hong Kong citizen? No. Do you need to be in Hong Kong? No. In fact, that you can be anywhere in the world as long as you're a Hong Konger. We love you. It doesn't really matter where you are. So this is not a trick question, but it really just help us with um, scheduling because sometimes we have mentor mostly from Silicon Valley. It's just better like for us to understand where you incorporate. Yes, it does matter a little bit. I can tell you that um, a lot of the American investor, they're just a lot more comfortable with a Delaware setup. Uh, I am not a lawyer. Don't ask me on this, like, oh, where should I incorporate it? But all it is is just that it will help our investor to understand, is it easier, easier to invest in you? Like, historically, um, doesn't really matter. Like, let's say even for the Lala move or the... Um, 
uh, go-go van of the, if, if you get the Sequoia type of the money, most of the time they're either Delaware, if you're a US related entity or Cayman, um, just because it's easier for international investor to invest. This is just like to, for us to, to think about like how easy, and yes, we will may suggest you to incorporate somewhere else just for the sake of the fundraising. Um, this, I really mean it to be a hundred word or less. Um, I don't know how to say it in English. No one will get you. So like short and sweet, just think about what the elevator pitch is. Uh, what problem are you your product addressing? Uh, by the way, uh, this is mostly draw from like Bonnie and I have many years at 500. Like if you apply for a YC at 500, they ask exactly the same thing. So we're not reinvent the wheel. It's just be very specific your problem. But I can tell you like the things that we look for are quantitative. How do you quantify this particular problem? Like are we taught solving a small market, big market? And but how do you actually justify that? Your founder's name. Um, in in general, I would say that founders, like we we came across many and and Bonnie and Philip, please chime in. Um, we love founders. It doesn't matter where you come from, but we know sometimes that Hong Kong founder particularly started with maybe consulting. Um, it's okay. We welcome you. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but of course, like who's going to be like the one that who own most of the equity. Um, we have come across really awesome companies where maybe the investor own a lot, which is interesting. And we want to talk to you about that too. But this is looking for people who is working on this full time. So that's that. Um, who's a major contact? Of course, website. Crunchbase URL is not a must. But the reason we have this is because the American investor, the, at least for, for the three of us, when you say that you are a company, we look it up and we immediately want to see what kind of investor is behind you. Um, it's very, very transparent uh, for most of the US company. So almost like if you don't have that, they'll be like, wait, like, are you, are you in the startup space? Um, because most of the US company is very, very transparent. So having this is more or less just to help you to sort of be easier when you put a uh, pitch US investor. And then LinkedIn is basically for everybody in the US and, and I apologize, and don't get me wrong, like if you're going after China market, awesome, you probably don't need this, um, but definitely Founders Hong Kong will provide you a lot more access in, in the non-China market. When did you start a company? Um, this is really like for us to think about whatever traction you have, how long did it take you? Because you could be like, hey, like I have, um, uh, uh, I don't know, like a uh, ten thousand uh, user, but you started twenty years ago. I'm sorry, forget about it. You you probably should fall. Or you say like, I just started last month, and you have ten thousand users. That's interesting. So that's sort of like help us to how we think about it. Um, we ask about full time. When did you launch? It's just to get help us to gauge your traction. Um, have you launched already? And and as Bonnie said, because we work very very hard to attract um, super vested investor into this, we want ideally if you can, it, you don't have to launch already. But if you have, we have something to look at. Um, this is just to raise how much money have you raised just to get a better sense if you have already raised from investors then then probably they have certain sort of criteria or whatnot just for us to understand how much have you raised um are you generate revenue you don't need to generate a revenue to uh, to apply and in fact if you're early we don't at least for me um actually philip and bonnie what what do you think like B2B and B2C is very different. Like, I think you don't really need to generate revenue for B2C. Um, what, what are your thoughts? For me, it's actually, you can be non-revenue generating at the moment, but just beware, like at the interviews, we will always ask you, I want to understand what your process is, right? In terms of sales cycle to, to your potential customers. Um, so if you don't even have an answer for that, then I would say it, was a, it would be a little bit challenging. 
Philip thoughts and UBC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, it, it really depends on the context. I agree with Bonnie, like, uh, absolutely for B2C, like, uh, user is as user or time of the user is as meaningful as, as revenue, I would say. Uh, so, you know, like, as long as you show some user's number, engagement number, and, you know, we'll, we'll ask you more in, in the, in the, uh, to, to learn more about your plan and stuff, just like what Bonnie said. Yeah, so Bonnie and Philip are both really nice people. And I, I'm going to be the Simon Cow of this, which is, <laughs> which is, it is all about time. So like, if you've been at it for five years, you are not, you don't know what you're doing, sorry. And by the way, don't get me wrong. We love you no matter what. Um, it's really, you're welcome to all the program. But at the same time, like we really want to like hold the bar really high. With, and, and by the way, don't get that as wrong. If you don't know, we will help you to help you to figure it out too. It's just like particularly for the program, we want to know what you don't know. So then we can help. Um, in fact, like at the very, very bottom of it, you could, you could be saying something like, I have a gazillion user, but I don't know how to monetize. You know what? It's an amazing problem to have. We will help you to figure that out. Um, but so, but in some sense, it doesn't, there's no right or wrong answer, but we just want to know what you don't know and how we can help. Um, if you're gener generating already run rate, and by the way, I'm so jaded. Sometimes how do you calculate the run rate? I'm questionable as well, because everybody have their formula. Yes, um, and I, I'm going to add a little bit here. Um, don't try to fool us, because we won't be fooled. Uh, <laughs> I've noticed I, if you beat a C, right? Um, Make sure at least you, uh, because if you put something very random, meaning I've seen people who would end up putting your GMV there. Um, it actually is not a good thing because you just told us you don't even know the difference. Um, yeah. It's okay if you want to say that, well, I, as Ida said, I, we may not have figured out, but we have amazing GMV. So put GMV there or like throughput, right? Um, at least let us know you understand what we're asking for, but you want to make us aware that, hey, um, I've got this other number I think is very important for you to know as well. Um, same thing, uh, and also I've seen some really smart folks. So I think Hong Kong people will just really, really know how to get around the problem because clearly you assume that, oh, we asked this problem, so we, this question. So the best answer is the higher the revenue, the better. True, it does, to be honest, right? It does um, attract our attention. But um, we also know, like, I think a lot of you guys are really good at making money. I think that's part of being born in a, in a financial city, right? Um, I've seen like pretty good revenues for startups of like a couple million Hong Kong already for a year. Um, and then you realize, hey, it's actually not from your key business. Um, so put it there, but just be aware that we're going to find out and we're going to drill you on the details. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um and you know what, like, um, and then, in the, so on top of what Bonnie just said, um, you don't have the right answer. We're, we're happy to help you to figure it out. But in your mind, like, what would be the business model in terms of how you make money? Uh, your target market will welcome all entrepreneur, Hong Kong entrepreneur. You could be born in, it doesn't really matter. Like, you tell us why you're a Hong Konger. We will love you, we accept you. Um, but your target market could be anywhere. Um, it's so funny. I don't. East Asia is China. Okay, sorry. Think it's so weird. I actually didn't really put that down, but there is much of Asia. Um, and and this is basically going to help us on like what sort of mentor we can pull because right now we have mentor mostly from Silicon Valley, but we have a lot of mentor that could come from China, come from Southeast Asia, which we can pull as many people as possible. Um. How big is your company? This is basically help us to think about your burn. Um, so therefore, when you when you raise, usually like what we will ask you is what's your burn, monthly burn? Then we most of the time we will ask our founders to raise at least eighteen months to two years, so you don't have to worry about it again. So to help us to help you to gauge what would be like the ideal number in terms of fundraising, who are your competitors? Like any answer is correct, but mostly just for us to understand uh, when you do the calm from an investor point of view um if you say hey um i don't know i'm into really into fintech lately so so let's say you are 
uh, competing with Square, right? Uh, then I'm gonna look up what's their market cap, like what geography, and it actually helped the investor and whoever are gonna help you to think about the comparable in terms of geography, investors, like how, why are you gonna beat them? It, it just helped whoever would wanna help you to get a better sense. Um, this is the most important thing. Yes, you don't need to have a Hong Kong ID. Um, you could be a, someone who is living in Hong Kong for a long time, don't have a Hong Kong ID. It could be lived there for two years and don't have it yet. Or you could be a Hong Kong or living who, in Africa. We're, yeah. we're here to help. Um, and sometimes so, um, here I encourage you guys, um, this is maybe part of, we are a little bit less creative, sometimes seen by other people, but be creative here because I've gotten a lot of questions about this. Um, just think about this, right? We're doing this because we all love Hong Kong. We really feel that, you know, we, wherever we are in this world, we have this invisible tide and our hearts are tied there. And that's why we wanted to help anyone with the same kind of um, ethos and tie to this place. And so the key is convince us, right? Why we would care about you too. Um, and classifying yourself as a Hong Kong founder, be creative. Um, you can express it in, in many ways besides just saying, I have an ID or I have three stars on my ID card. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, totally. We wanted to know like why you love Hong Kong. And then um, what do you need the most help with? This is actually basically to help us to find the right uh, mentor because our mentor now are some amazing people. I'm going to just quickly show you. And uh, if you have any question, please ask Philip. Um, I don't know anything, so yeah, we, we got a few signed up just just now, you know, and people people knowing that now <laughs> receive yeah. a few forms. We we have just a really really amazing folks. They're so awesome. Vincent joined finance and uh, uh, yeah. ba Bonnie loved crypto, so ask her. And so we have like some really really awesome advisors from like all walks of life. And most of them are based out of um, the Bay Area, of course. But as you are, and many of them are investors, mm -hmm. but as you are uh, have very specific needs, we always can pull more people to help. Exactly. Um, like Chris, um, Cindy, they're both in Hong Kong. I would most likely be back in Hong Kong um, starting August. Yeah. And, and, and we have Zen from Apple, we have Cynthia, who used to work at SoftBank. Um, so it's a, like, you know, of course, Philips is Hong Kong and also Apple, uh, Christine from Lincoln, like all these folks cannot wait to talk to you and wanted to help all have like, uh, mostly like tech company experience, um, from Grab and SoFi and, and all that and Michelle with education. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. Like if you have a pitch deck, we'd love to see it but I'm going to actually stop here. We have 20 minutes left. We're going to do it for open Q&A. Um, but I think at least like you guys have a very, very clear, um, we would want to be as transparent as possible. Um, the only thing I wanted to emphasize is um, we end up probably going to mm, maybe like eight, six to eight companies because we want to be as focused as possible. Um, the three of us who you meet here will literally spend eight weeks with you um, to shepherd you with this whole experience. And we want to basically, um, one of our KPI is either very tangible in either fundraising or, or partnership, uh, particularly for non-China market. That's basically like kind of most of our network. Um, we want to help you no matter what, but the, the key thing is really, as you spend time, we spend time, we want to be as tangible as possible. Um, so with that, I'm going to stop here. And now let's go through some of the questions that we have out in the Q&A. All right. Um, okay, where's my Q&A? Uh, Louis Chu loves Bonnie, basically asked everybody. <laughs> Here's another question. And 
Bonnie, no, as as you were talking, Philip and I were busy typing away. Yeah, we, we pretty much answer questions. answer uh, a lot of questions already. In, in the test, uh, founders ask oh. for you know how many we're taking. I think you know like um, so uh, I think you give kind of like an estimate of of, of startups that we will take. But um, to be honest, you know we we love to help as many as we can. So um, if we find that you kind of qualify or you know uh, kind of. Hit, hit the mark that we think we can help you like we'll, we'll just love to take you like i mean like six to eight is kind of like an estimate um but you know we we, we just wouldn't reject if we find a good 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 companies to to help awesome cool awesome uh all right so the next one is uh do you guys generate any fees is it cover cost <laughs> I, I'm trying to answer that, but I'll let you answer that live. <laughs> Who, who's covering the cost? <laughs> uh, no one is covering any cost whatsoever. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, so be completely transparent. Um, Founders Hong Kong is a 501c3 uh, organization in the US. We are complete all volunteer basis, and, and um, the three of us cannot wait to come back to Hong Kong. But, but yeah, like there's no fees whatsoever, like not nothing. So so yeah, we love any support that you can give us. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not we're not taking any uh, from funders, you know. Uh, to be transparent, we, we chip in if we need to pay for yeah. something. So 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 not taking anything for now. Um, no, and we are like you guys. We we just basically, as Philip says, we try to chip in, but chip in in the sense like we become also hustlers. We hustle other people for support <laughs> if they are, yeah. if they are marketing needs, etc. And we we are just creative too. But yes, from you guys, nothing except your time. I saw a hand raised. Okay, I, I, you know what? I'm gonna do my normal style. Uh, I think Alex Tong have a. Have a, uh, I'm going to bring some of the founder live so they can ask questions live. That's so Alex, 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 be ready. I'm going to promote you as a panelist so you can ask the question live. Alex. Hey, what's up? Hi, Alex. Hey. Hello. Hello, Edith. Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Philip. Hey, Hi, nice to meet you all. Hello, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I, I saw, remember we talked before actually. Hey. Uh, yes, yes. Hi, Philip. Uh, yeah, we, we had a chat. I signed up through Founders Hong Kong and then I had a chat with Philip. And uh, so I am really interested in it, but we are quite early stage, to be honest. So that's why I asked the question and Philip already answered. So I'll just, um, yeah, uh, fill up the application form and see how it goes. And thanks for all the sharing. Uh, yeah. So it, it's been all good. Thanks very much. Cool. I, I, I'm just uh, looking at your question now. And sorry, I, I, I didn't realize I feel like we answered. So um, on the mobile, so can, can you just give us like a quick thing so we can do like a test run? What, what do your mobile app do? Oh, uh, so we do a trip planning mobile apps and we want to monetize the content creator in travel industry and also plan people who uh, plan trips and so they can skip the um, overloaded information stage and they can get their things sorted and then compare with those by content creator. So we are in early stage right now. We finished our first version, but we kept it offline after a series of user interview because we uh, think it's just not good enough. And so now we're iterating to another version. And so that's why I asked Philip that question. And uh, we don't have much traction in terms of the core product. And whereas we have a little bit of traction in terms of partnerships, in terms of uh, social media, and also in terms of some non-core revenue, I would say. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Um, thank you, Alex, for your support. Um, I, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. And, and thank you for your question. And I'm going to... <laughs> I don't want to demo you, but I'm going to put you back to audience, okay? Sure, sure. Thanks, Edith. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Um, so on, on this note, Alex actually bring up a really good point, and I wrote something about it before, and and don't don't no disrespect in any way. I think particularly in Hong Kong, Hong Kong have really awesome government organization. Obviously, like promote a lot of these things. But unfortunately, like when you're talking to investors in Silicon Valley, we don't care how much press that you have in Hong Kong. It does not matter. 
Um, what we care about is true metrics and KPI. Like if you have five award in Hong Kong is not real business traction. Um, and I am sorry because in some sense, I, I get it like because you, you get a lot of exposure, but at the end of the day, what really matter uh, depends on your B2B or B2C. Um, it, what really matters is customers, is revenue, is MAU, DAU, is churn. And do you understand like LTV, like all these stuff, right? So in some sense, as much as we really wanted to help you to hone in to the right sort of metrics. So we don't spend time on things that doesn't matter. Um, so in many sense is we, we, but don't get us wrong. I think in your application form, tell us as much as possible. And we want to be the, the tough love of the parents to tell you things that what matter and be the one who would tell you that nobody else want to tell you. Um, but anyway, I, I think in some sense, uh, if you're super early stage and B2B and you're not generating any revenue, it's completely fine. Uh, it doesn't matter. In fact, um, Bonnie and I look at a lot of like, uh, crypto related things. They don't generate anything whatsoever, but it doesn't matter. Um, every single sort of like companies have different, different kind of metrics. All right, um, what other questions should we answer? Uh, I saw two attendee raised hands, so maybe we can bring them up. Uh, we have uh, Amy Kwan and, and David Wang. Okay, I'm going to promote Amy. Amy, any questions? And you are promoted. Hi. Amy. Hi. 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 Amy. Hey. Good evening. Hi. Hi, I um I have a quick question. Um, we we register our company on March twenty seventeen. It took us a uh, actual couple of time to uh, identify the the right company and the right engineer to develop the website. And then on March twenty twenty, we have to pause because the Los Angeles city order a stay at home ordinance. So all the real estate board are still closed and no open house. And our marketplace, part of it is uh, we register a company in Hong Kong actually on December 2019. So our marketplace, the demand side of the market, you know, is in Hong Kong. But since I cannot go to Hong Kong, we kind of do not have any activity for like a whole year. Are we still qualified? We've been started the company for quite some time now. We have over, we have a few hundred users and we start having revenue. I think it's actually more important um, not to think of it as like, oh, do I qualify? Do I not qualify, right? Think about, we are running a program for two months to put you in front of investors to help you do the most, the most difficult piece of all founders, right? Fundraising. And the question to you is, can you convince us in your application that you will be ready in these eight weeks and why yes. you will be ready? And especially because you explained, well, there was a pause. And it's actually quite common, right? We've seen, a, actually, you, Edith and I both saw some, some of the founders uh, 500 invested in last year, right? They pivot very quickly. And to us, it's actually fantastic, right? It shows us that you are quick in your mind, you're flexible, you know how to turn the market to make sure that your company survive, right? So it's more of a question of when you fill in that application, what have you done in the last 12 months to convince us what are the key things, key metrics that you will hit or are on target to do? Maybe it's different from a year before, but that will tell us in eight weeks, Amy and her team will be ready for whatever stage you're in, right? Angel fundraising, seed fundraising, series A fundraising. Less so than, oh, do I have checkbox like qualifications to just tick off? And if I tick it off, oh, I can apply. Um, it, it's not like that. Oh, good. Because uh, Edith was, was mentioned that, you know, the company, all, you know, started five years ago and then you don't have a lot of users. So well, there's a reason that we, you know, we paused for last year. A lot of uh, investors or angel investors told us, you know, we need to keep the burn rate down, let the people go so they could get unemployment. Yeah. So, yeah, we are coming back. So on, on the tough love side, right, 
if you if you apply and you said we're still dormant then I'm like, no, sorry. <laughs> just call us back when you're not dormant anymore. Um, oh, no, no, we're not dormant. We're, we're kicking it back up. We're going to go and hire Then Yeah, go ahead, please apply. And we yeah, can have okay. more there. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Is there another person you guys mentioned that would raise their hands? Okay, I'm going to thank you, Amy. I'm going to bring you Amy. back to attendees. And then there is also David. I'm going to promote you as panelists. Hey, David. You like a talk show. <laughs> hi, hi, everyone. Um, I actually want to give a quick shout out to Philip. Congrats on, on everything at Homecore, because actually prior to uh, launching my startup, uh, I was actually at Bupo and you guys came through oh. in 2019. Oh, great. Uh, oh, really? Did, did we so, meet? Did we, did we meet? I don't think I met you. I met with David. I met with, uh, I forget his name, back then the BD. Uh, head oh, of I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And Got that it. was prior to cool. the Jumpstarter conference. So, oh, well, I see, I see. I, I haven't, I, haven't, I wasn't in Hong Kong at that time. I, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we met with David and then and the rest of the team there. Uh, yeah. Anyways, congratulations on that. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I, I, so, yeah. So, I mean, I, I came out to start up my own uh, startup now. We're actually in the Cyberport uh, program right now as well. Um, and I actually spoke with Gene the other day as well, one, one of the uh, mentors. Um, in, in your in your program, mm. uh, who who's currently with NTR? Oh, Danny, I, see, I, I see, I see, I, I see. Had a, had a quick question. Um, it, it sounds like a lot of your network are all um, in US, and rightfully so. Um, so the question, I guess, in this case for this program is, um, you know, is, is there a preference, I suppose, for startups that's looking to move into North America or Europe? Um, you know, assuming from a VC perspective, right? Better for exit as well. Um, or or is there? Uh, Basically, my question comes down to, is there an appetite for companies that are still a little bit more regionally or locally based in Hong Kong and in the surrounding area, potentially greater Bay Area um, in the near term? Does that turn off um, you know, the, the, the people and the partners that you guys have in your, in your program? Uh, maybe I take this one. I, I, I think that uh, because the, the three of us background so much in, in the US, we obviously, when we recruit uh, mentors, are mostly um, have a lot of U.S. background. Having said that, we, we're here to serve. Means if, let's say, David, I, I don't know who you are. So if, if it happened to be one of the companies we really want to help, and let's say um, what you need really need help with in Southeast Asia, we, we will do everything we can to connect as much as we can. Um, because what we have found, by the way, like I'm, I'm, I, I'm a Hong Konger and I lived in the U.S. for 20 years. If it's not because of because of Philip, I never, I didn't even know there's so many Hong Kongers. <laughs> and, and I, I actually like I, I was curious because you know so many people. <laughs> I didn't know you. <laughs> but but I, I didn't know. So so in some senses, um, David, it really depends on. We we want to keep our minds open. Um, I would say like our network happened to be very investor focused, uh, which means, um, let, let's say, as, as Philip mentioned earlier, um, the Sequoia fo folks who spoke at Founders Hong Kong are actually an investor that invested in a company in Hong Kong. It wasn't like Sequoia US. Um, and let's say like the, the other folks were Sequoia or, or, or Mency from Goldman or Matrix Partner, they actually are the China partner um, that have done investment in Hong Kong. Um, because we sort of wanted to be meaningful to the Hong Kong founders as well, even though they're very US brand. Um, but based on our experience is this, is my previous company was a Chinese company, but US market. So we on purpose, pick a US investor. So it really depends on your go-to-market, even the brand name, they have branches as well. So we wanted to be as strategic as, we, we basically will maneuver as much as we can to help you um, on your need rather than our access, if that makes sense. Even though we have a lot of access, but we, we want to learn as much as we can. After all, this is batch one. Um, we, we're like very selective of the company because we want to make as much as impact as we can. Got it, thanks. That's helpful, appreciate it. 
All right. Um, thank you, David. And yep. I'm going to not to demo you, but but thank you for joining. No worries. Right. Thanks. Okay. So we have Sunny, who's all right, and we have probably do five more minutes and then we have to run and we answer as much as questions as we can. Sunny. Hello, hello. Hey. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Nishanjun. Uh, I have been doing startups in Shenzhen for uh, many years. But my sister and the nephew uh, are living in Hong Kong, in Maanshan. Uh, because my sister married a uh, Hong Kong man. So I've been to <laughs> Hong Kong very often. And uh, I love Hong Kong uh, as much as you guys do. Yeah. So uh, actually, I have, I have been in the program of uh, Funding Institute Hong Kong. Do you know that? Funding Institute Hong Kong? I mean, Funding uh, Institute, F I. Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we know. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been in this program uh, for one month. So uh, I know your program actually from a classmate of Funding Institute. He's a Hong Kong. He introduced me about you guys. I'm really interested because uh, uh, in my previous project, project I know that uh, uh, at some crucial times that uh, uh, advice, the help from your uh, network is really important, which can Sell your company or your life. So uh, I really, uh, for this new project, I'm, I'm, I really want to fund a, a new network so that I can join uh, to get help with. So uh, my question is, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I'm just uh, 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 in Shenzhen, uh, but I, my only connection with Hong Kong is my sister. <laughs> is, that, is that okay? <laughs> Uh, but I love Hong Kong, really, I love Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong is, is in China, also China. So I would like to apply, is that OK? okay. <laughs> Please apply. Please apply. And, and, and then tell us how much you love Hong Kong. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that sounds, sounds like that would depend on the answer of, your, <laughs> of the question on the phone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think you guys will refuse me because we are all Chinese. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, no discrimination. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I will apply. I will apply. Yeah. yeah. Um, Thanks. We, we, um, uh, Philip and Bonnie, please chime in. Like, I think like we want to be as inclusive as possible, um, not exclusive. I think you guys should have considered the GPA. Uh, the area, you know, there are so many uh, talented funders in the GPA area, not just Hong Kong. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, so, so I think it, it really gets back to uh, what Edith said at the very beginning, you know, about the East Bureau campus situation, you know, like honestly, it, it, yeah. in our mind, like always wanted to unite, you know, the, the Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong group of, of startup founders and bring up the Hong Kong startup ecosystem. So for us, you know, it's either, you know, you're a Hong Konger and you are in Hong Kong or, and, you know, because the ecosystem is still there, right? Like, like East Bureau, like if you're a Hong Konger, you, you're, you, you're out of, in other places, building startup, that's great because like, like you can always contribute back. And if we believe you, you love Hong Kong, I, I think for us, that's, that's more like a, a broader definition of a Hong Kong startup ecosystem. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, we want to have your back and please apply and, and we want to be as much as possible and it could be your mother, sister, whatever is related and, and you can it be- is. It is the truth. It is the truth. I, I, <laughs> I don't lie. I, I love it. Uh, anywhere in the world, we, we're there to accept. Um, and ha have that said, we had 10 p.m. here and is 1 p.m. your time. Thank you, Sunny, for joining. I'm so glad you, you're able to join yeah. us. All right, I'm gonna get you attendees. Um, I, I just have one final comment and I'm gonna have Philip and um, Bonnie both have final comment is we love Hong Kong. No matter what, what you're doing, we're here to help and we want to help you to fundraise. We want you to grow. There's no right or wrong answer. You don't have to be perfect. As long as you're Hong Kong, we want to have your back. This is the message that we want to send. And Philip and Bonnie, what do you think? 
Yeah, I mean, I want to extend that, you know, I think in our vision, like we, we wanted to, you know, like we, we, we're grateful that we, you know, we, we can, you know, offer some help to you guys. Uh, but, but then, you know, think about it as a, as, a, as a cycle. We want you to be successful and eventually contribute back to the ecosystem. I think that's, you know, that's how it works. That's how the second value works, how Stanford, you know, as a small, smaller scale works. Uh, I, um, you know, I think we all really picturing that, you know, and, and, and do it, you know, one step at a time. You, you oh, muted, Bonnie, yeah. you muted. Hey, knowing you guys are all Hong Kongers, I know you get it now. So I'm not going to be long winded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank okay, you. Thank you guys all for joining us today. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.